Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, Simon the Watch Guy. We're going to dive straight into this one because this could be a long video. Basically, I'm looking for a smartwatch. I think I'm looking for a smartwatch anyway. Now, it may come as a surprise to you, I've owned several. I've owned this one here, which was the Microsoft Band. In fact, I think that's the Microsoft Band 2. I also owned this one here which was the original, uh, sorry, this one here, which was the original Microsoft Band. I've owned a Fitbit, which I think my original one looked closer to this one. I also owned the Fitbit HR. Uh, I think I had the Fitbit Charge. I had the Fitbit, uh, oh yeah, I had this one as well, the Alter. That was the one I had, the Alter. I also had the Fitbit HR, which looked a bit like was it the HR2 I had. Oh no, it was the Versa. It was the Versa I had as well. So I've owned several of these. I've also owned some AliExpress versions. I've even had the Apple Watch. Yes, I know. Crazy. Who would have thunk it? I actually owned many different fitness watches. Now, I do find personally I do find they give you a little bit more motivation because it's a reminder that's constantly sitting on your wrist now why don't I use one now there's a million reasons and that's number one they can't really be handed down they're kind of not necessarily designed to break but there is quite a, a short shelf life uh, on these, you know, they tend to last a couple of years and then the battery is just completely dead. They don't update them anymore and essentially they want you to buy a brand new one. So, with all that being said, why am I considering a brand new smartwatch? Well, I am really wanting to get back to some form of fitness. Now I know you can get fit without a smartwatch, I am fully aware, but, and it's quite a big but, I really do believe I have got quite fit to using one before, and I kind of feel as if I, I need that motivation again. Lockdown hasn't been kind, I think, to all of us, but especially when it comes to snacking, you know, the lack of exercise, gyms being closed. I, I, I think maybe I'm looking for excuses in my head, maybe. But I really do believe that a, fit, a fitness watch, I think at this time, it might be what I need. Now, if you look at the top fitness trackers, let's go to this site here, wired.com. We can see that the Fitbit charge seems to be, is this in the top, the best 14. So it says the best all around is the Fitbit 4. There's a Garmin. There's so many different brands, Apple Series 6, but they are rather expensive. And also the problem with the Apple Watch is I really detest, especially as a watch guy, a self-proclaimed watch guy, I really detest, big time detest, some of these smartwatches because the battery on them is just simply shocking. Some of them only last a day, and even that's being generous. Some of them last maybe 10 hours, and I just think it's absolutely shocking. I know... They're check, tracking your steps, heartbeat, all of that kind of thing. But I just find it phenomenal that, you know, the battery life is so poor. So ultimately what I'm looking for is something really that satisfies all of my needs, which is a long battery life of at least, at the very least, one week. I want really something that's going to track my sleep, I want something to track steps and heartbeat. And I guess really I'm kind of reaching out to you as the viewer of this channel. What is the best 
fitness tracker that's going to do all of these things. I mean, I you know, I would love something that did everything. The uh, barometer, you know, the kind of ABC watches, the you know, compass, um, altimeter, etc., etc. However, the more features you have, the the worse the battery life is, at least in my... I mean, no contactless payments on this particular Fitbit. And also, it really varies country to country, because when you look at a Fitbit and you look at the uh, debit cards that it can handle... Uh, let's just go to, go to Google for this one. So, Fitbit debit cards cards you will very quickly find especially if you're in the UK that it just simply it's hidden away somewhere on one of their pages here we go bank here we go let's take a look so US well I'm not in the US so that's irrelevant to me if I scroll all the way down to UK it's missing pretty much every single UK bank it's got Okay, it's got Santander and Starling, but I've never even heard of some of these banks. I mean, Dan Danske Bank? What, that is that? I've just never heard of them. So it's just kind of useless, the, the Fitbit for me, if I want to do a uh, payment that's... Um, if I want to do a payment over NFC with the, with the Fitbit... So Garmin is another one, the Sunto All Black. This is one I really, I am, I can't tell you how close I am to purchasing this, but this doesn't have any of the payment features. And what puts me off this one, I mean, this has the altimeter barometer. This has a compass, ABC watch. It's got the uh, time as well. Uh, sorry, the um, time and date. It's also got the temperature. It's... It, it's a beautiful watch, and people have owned it for several years, and it can definitely take a beating. The downside, the battery in this one just lasts for one year. Some people report it actually lasts for between about seven to ten months. So, it's shocking. This one doesn't have a, a step counter, by the way. Now, some of the G-Shocks do have a step counter. Uh, I think it... Is it the G-Squad that has a... Step counter, I'm not sure. Step graph, step goal, yeah. I think it's the G Squad series that has, uh, I don't know why this is displaying AED. Oh, it's going to the Arab Emirates. Um, so yeah, G Shark, G Shark step tracker. I won't have much luck. On Bing, let's go to google.com. So you can see here the GBA 800. There's a GMDB 800. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, these are the ladies' ones. Yeah, I've seen those ones before. So I guess the question I have is uh, G Shock Step Tracker accuracy. Because I've heard really mixed things. It wasn't consistently... The difference was never more than five, four to five steps. Okay, so it sounds like this GBA 800 is actually... Let's just check this one out here. So nine months ago, both are way over calculating steps. Casio is aware the accelerometer is too sensitive, but it can be adjusted. Yeah, see, this is the problem. The problem, that's a beautiful looking watch. Wow, Neo Tokyo. Sorry to get sidetracked. What have we landed on? Reddit G-Shock -so section. Oh my God. Wow, the M5610. Wow, has he modded that to blue? Well, I'm not sure I like the blue and the red. Maybe we should do this. Maybe this is another video idea. But yeah, ultimately what I'm trying to say is that you can definitely... Oh, wow, the 5600, wow. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that you can definitely get, you know, 
many many different fit fitness watches and 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 the what it really comes down to for me personally is battery life versus price and the functionality versus the price and not only that but what happens when you buy one of these watches and then you just figure out it's just it's just not accurate and this is why it's Whenever you purchase a watch, it's really important to make sure you know what you're buying. Even more so with a, with a fitness tracker, because it's really, really important. You, you check out, you know, Apple Watch battery life. It's really important. So 18 hours, and that's Apple themselves saying this. It's probably, in reality, let's see if anyone battery life is its Achilles heel this site here claims they got closer to 36 hours I can just say that's just simply not true I just simply well I mean maybe it was for them if they had all notifications off anything like that you know look at this why is that uh, Apple 3's battery life designed to last 18 hours on a full charge unoptimized settings software crashes heavy apps I'm just not sure these smartwatches are up to the challenge. I mean, I know I used to have a uh, Withings HR as well, by the way, guys. <laughs> so This is another smartwatch I used to own. And this one went, I think, 30 days. I think this went a massive 30 days, and it was a very minimalistic. It was actually a good watch as well as a as well as a step tracker, step counter. I don't remember it being the most accurate thing in the world, which is probably why I sold it. But, uh, yeah, this is the problem. Until you purchase them, you've really got to trust reviews big time. Uh, that was the one I had the with the Nokia. I had it when Nokia purchased with things, and then Nokia sold, I think, sold with things. So it's gone back to... I think the original owners, I'm not sure. I think I had it in white with the black. I told you calories and so on. So, yeah, I guess this is... Sorry, this has gone on a little bit longer than I intended. But if anybody knows of a watch, a fitness tracker, that it covers sleep, it covers steps, it covers pretty much everything um, that I've asked for in the video. Sleep, steps, maybe an ABC watch as well, maybe... Um, Battery life obviously needs to be a minimum seven days. Uh, preferably if it works with Android and iOS, that would be good. Uh, what else? Steps. Sleep. Maybe an ABC, altimeter, barometer, compass. All of those features would be fantastic. So let me know if you've got any recommendations. So I will check the comments and hopefully speak to you all there. And please don't judge me too much for wanting one of these. I need to shift some lockdown weight. <laughs> I'm sure many of us are in the same position. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And then also just bear in mind, I'm waiting for that Casio to arrive. It's taking an awfully long time. The W217H, as soon as it gets here, I will bring it to you guys for the overview. Okay, see you in the next one.